Hello, this is Joe Pryor of the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City, a part of Redbud Realty and Associates. The last video I did uh, is for investors, and what I wanted to do is talk about capitalization rate. And capitalization rate is when you take the total purchase price of a home, and I use the example of $100,000, then what you do is you take your net operating income, not counting your debt service, and uh, let's say that's $10,000, and you compute a percentage of return. In that case, it was 10%. Uh, and so the expectations are is that you're getting a 10% return every year on your actual investment. So you're getting 10,000 or 10% of it back. And that's one of the ways that we look at investment properties to give you an accurate idea of what you're buying. And we did talk about how sometimes at a lower cap rate, if it's a true cap rate, if you really got your analysis right, is better. Say taking a new home that doesn't need a lot of repairs or maintenance because of warranties versus a 25 year old uh, home that is going to, to have more wear and tear and is going to be more maintenance. We wanna make sure that whatever you get from us or from anybody is an accurate statement of what that capitalization rate is. So just automatically buying on a 10 cap if the, if the analysis is not right, it's not what you should do. But I want to talk about two other factors that we bring in that I'll do a little bit more videos about later. Uh, one is called cash on cash. Now, I like cash on cash just like, like capitalization rate because if it's right, then we can really tell you in that first year what's going on. So essentially what we do with uh, cash on cash is we take that net operating income, uh, and then we reduce it by your debt service. So in other words, you have a loan, for instance, and you're paying principal and interest. And uh, so we want to take that off that and come up with a number. Now, in terms of creating a percentage, this is a little different. Instead of to using the total investment, what we use is the actual cash out. So taking that $100,000 uh, and, uh, and saying you had uh, a 20% down loan and 3% closing cost, or $3,000 closing costs, that'd be $23,000 out of pocket. Now, therefore, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that amount, that real cash that you put out, and we're gonna compare it uh, to the amount of total return that you get after everything is taken out of your investment. Uh, the debt service, the uh, property management fees, the taxes, uh, everything that you could possibly think of that goes into that investment property, uh, including vacancy rate that we try to compute in there. So that's going to give you an idea. Do, am I getting 10%, 15%, 20% of my cash back? Because that's real dollars. And if we have a really good investment, often we can say, well, if you're getting a 20% a down return or 20% return on cash on cash on your money, real money out, then, hey, maybe in five years you can actually have all your cash back while you're still cash flowing going into the future on holding on to your investment property. So cash on cash is another important snapshot, just like capitalization rate is. Now, in the next video that I'm going to do after this, what I'm going to do is talk about what's called internal rate of return. Now, internal rate of return is going to be a long-term forecast, so there's going to be some suppositions that we have to throw in. But the two things about these two videos of capitalization rate and cash on cash, it's a snapshot that can be a very accurate idea that in that first year, you're getting a certain percentage back on your total investment, which includes the money out plus the amount of money that you borrowed, and cash on cash, which tells you how much of my real dollars that I put out after everything is taken out, do I get back in that first year? Those are much easier to do. And so in this next video, I want to detail out long-term internal rate of return. This is Joe Pryor of the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City, where we deliver traditional real estate values at the speed of technology.